Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to copy Shopify store to another account. So if you're looking to transfer your Shopify store to another account, whether you're selling your business or simp simply like moving your store to a different owner or transferring your ownership on Shopify store, can be, of course, this can be smooth process. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps to copy the Shopify store to another account in 2023. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, Make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the brief browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, go to this URL section and type shopify.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or main screen of Shopify.com or Shopify website. Of course, if you don't know much about Shopify, you can scroll down here and read all the necessary information about it. So you can even find a lot of information here. So, and if you have an account, you can simply go and click on login to login into your account. So if you don't have an account, you can simply click on start free trial to start your free trial, of course, and create your account. Or you can simply go here into the price and as you can see, and see all the plans that Shopify has per monthly and year and of course for me i'm just going to log in into my store as an example and of course for you you'll have to go and log into your store provide necessary information and as an example to log into your store and once you'd like as an example for you you created a new account make sure that you're logged in into it and ready to process or if you already have an account make sure to log in into it as i did right now and you will normally be good to start and of course in your source Shopify account, or you will have to navigate into the settings sections and then go to your settings, click on accounts and select export store to create a backup of your store data. And of course, Shopify will generate a zip file containing your store data, including products, uh, orders, and customers and setting uh, and settings of course you can download this zip to your computer's example of course your online store will be normally here and you'll be able even to view it from here an example and you will see your online store with all the pages that you have and every other click that you may have you will find them there so of course you can uh, uh, click at this three dots as an example and if you click on it as you can see you'll be able to duplicate uh, the store so if you click on it as you can see you'll be able to copy this store but of course this will not take it to another account so for you of course if you download the zip file of course you can of course import it into the new shopify account so you can simply go and log out from this account as an example and log into another account or the other account that you would like to copy the shop into it and go of course to the settings sections account again and click on import to store initiate the process of importing your store you can simply choose the previously downloaded zip file to your computer and follow the on-screen instructions to import the data to your new account and of course once the import process is completed you will have to navigate through the settings of your new shopify account and review the configurations and make sure to pay close attention to the settings related to the shipping payments getaway taxes and other store specific settings and make sure to update any necessary information to match your requirements and preferences and of course uh, after the data is imported it's essential to verify that all the products orders and customers information is transferred successfully uh, you can simply check the product listing and review existing order and ensure that customer profiles are interact if you notice any this discrepancies or missing data you may need to troubleshoot or re-import specific sections of your store data and of course uh, since the store design and themes are not transferred automatically you'll need to configure the design of your new shopify store you can simply visit the shopify theme store or use a third-party theme provider to select and install a new theme as an example or use your old theme and you'll be able to customize the design elements to match your brand and store requirements and of course in the new shopify account you can configure the payments and shipping options according to your uh, preferences you can let them as, as it was with the old one or you can go and update them if you want you can set up payments get away to accept payments from your customers and ensure that shipping methods are rates and accurately configured you can test the checkout process to ensure payments and shipment calculations are uh, functioning correctly and of course if you're using a custom domain with your shopify store you will uh, need to update the domain and dns uh, settings to point to your new shopify account make sure to access your domain registrator settings and update the 
the domain records with your appropriate Shopify DNS settings. And of course, this step ensures that all your domains uh, or your domain redirects uh, to the new store, not the old one. And of course, once you completed the transfer example process and verify that your new store is up and running smoothly, it's essential to inform you yeah, like your existing customers, suppliers, and partners about the change. You can send out a notification email or update your website to let them know uh, about the store transfer or and any potential changes in contact information. So of course, you can even sit on your old store like another redirect. You can delete everything in the old store and just put a simple redirect to the new store. If they can click on a button, which will take them to the new store. Just inform them there if you want to, and that will work correctly. Of course, if you don't want to do all of that, you can simply go and copy, or if you want just to copy your store from an account to another account, you can simply go to this left panel again, go to their settings again, and go to this users and uh, permissions and here of course you will have to go and click on transfer ownership which will transfer it to another account once you click on it as you can see when the transfer is complete you'll lose the instructed access to the store so for us we don't care about this because we it's going to be just our one uh, another account of ours so we don't care of course it's fine if we transfer everything for the new account because it's going to be ours and as you can see the new store owner will be able to remove you from the store or chasing your permissions if you already this credit card and banking information it's not going to be a problem like I said, because it's, we, we are going to be the owner, because it's going to be our account, and pause or close the store. So simply, you'll have to go here and enter the email of your new account, as an example, and the first name and last name that you put in your new account, and make sure to enter your password to confirm here. And of course, once you do so, click on transfer ownership and the other email you will get uh, or the other account, you'll get an email to confirm this transfer ship. So make sure to accept it and the transfer ship or the transfer to another account will be correctly and you will be good to go. Of course, uh, let's just uh, pretend that is our new account. You can always go to your online store and choose of the, or check if the themes, blog posts, pages, navigations, preferences, everything is correctly. You can always click here on view your store. And see if you like your old store, you can of course go and, ch and change an example theme to put a new theme to your store to let it more refreshing for your customers and uh, people and partners maybe depending on your store. And of course, you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff, including like adding apps and etc. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully copied your Shopify store to another account in 2023. Of course, by following these steps, you've transferred your store data settings and design to a new Shopify account. Remember to thoroughly uh, review and test your new store to ensure everything is functioning as expected. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one so best luck with your new shopify store and thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video